Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to talk about a topic that is relevant to our health, especially during flu season. It's about swine flu, also known as H1N1 influenza. In this video, we will discuss the history, causes, symptoms, prevention and treatment of swine flu. What is swine flu? Swine flu is a highly contagious respiratory viral disease that spreads from pigs to humans and vice versa. The virus is a subtype of influenza A, called H1N1. History of Swine Flu Swine flu is not a new virus and has been present in pigs for many years. However, the H1N1 strain of the virus that caused a global pandemic in 2009 was a novel strain that had never been seen before. The outbreak first emerged in Mexico in April 2009 and quickly spread to other countries around the world. The World Health Organization WHO, declared a pandemic in June 2009, and the virus continued to circulate until August 2010. The pandemic caused significant public concern, with many countries implementing measures such as school closures and travel restrictions to try to limit the spread of the virus. While the pandemic was not as severe as initially feared, it still caused significant illness and death worldwide. Since the pandemic, swine flu has continued to circulate as a seasonal flu virus, with outbreaks occurring in various parts of the world from time to time. About Swine Flu Virus This virus is a genetic combination of swine, avian, and human influenza viruses. It is a spherical or oval-shaped particle that is about 80 to 120 nanometers in diameter. The virus has an outer envelope made up of lipid molecules and proteins. The genetic material of the virus is made up of eight segments of RNA, which encode the viral proteins necessary for replication and infection. These proteins include hemagglutinin, HA, and neuraminidase, Na, which are found on the surface of the virus and are used to attach to and enter host cells. The internal proteins of the virus include nucleoprotein, NP, matrix protein, M1 and M2, and non-structural protein, NS1 and NS2, which are involved in viral replication and assembly. How Swine Flu Transmits Swine flu virus is transmitted primarily through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs or sneezes. The droplets can be inhaled by others who are in close proximity to the infected person, typically within a range of about 6 feet. The virus can also be transmitted indirectly by touching a surface contaminated with the virus and then touching the nose or mouth. The virus can survive on surfaces such as doorknobs, countertops, and keyboards for up to 48 hours making it important to practice good hygiene by washing hands frequently and avoiding touching one's face. Swine flu virus can also be transmitted from pigs to humans, particularly in settings such as farms and livestock markets where there is close contact between humans and infected animals. In rare cases, human-to-pig transmission of the virus has also been reported. The virus is not transmitted through the consumption of pork or pork products that have been properly cooked. Pathogenicity of Swine Flu the pathogenicity, or disease-causing ability, of swine flu virus can vary depending on the specific strain of the virus and the host's immune system. In general, swine flu virus can cause mild to severe respiratory illness in humans, with symptoms similar to those of seasonal influenza. However, some strains of the virus, including the H1N1 strain that caused the 2009 pandemic, can cause more severe illness and even death particularly in vulnerable populations such as the elderly, young children, and people with underlying health conditions. The virus replicates in the respiratory tract, causing inflammation and damage to the cells lining the airways. In severe cases, this can lead to pneumonia, acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS, and other complications. The pathogenicity of swine flu virus is influenced by factors such as viral genetics, host immune response, and environmental factors making it difficult to predict the severity of any given outbreak. Symptoms of Swine Flu The symptoms of swine flu virus are similar to those of seasonal flu, although they can vary in severity. Some people may have mild symptoms, while others may experience more severe illness. The symptoms of swine flu virus can include 1. Fever A high fever is a common symptom of swine flu. 1. It may develop suddenly and can be as high as 102 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. 2. Cough. A dry cough is another common symptom of swine flu. 2. 
The cough may be severe and persistent and can lead to chest discomfort. 3. Sore throat. A sore throat is also a common symptom of swine flu. 3. It may be accompanied by a runny or stuffy nose. 4. Body aches. Swine flu can cause severe muscle aches and body pains. 4. These pains are often sudden and can be quite severe. 5. Fatigue. Swine flu can cause extreme fatigue and weakness, which can last for several days. 6. Headache. A severe headache is also a common symptom of swine flu. 6. The headache may be accompanied by dizziness or lightheadedness. 7. Nausea and vomiting. Some people with swine flu may experience nausea and vomiting, especially children. In severe cases, swine flu virus can lead to complications such as pneumonia, acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS, and organ failure. People who are at higher risk for complications include young children, pregnant women, older adults, and people with underlying health conditions such as asthma, diabetes, or heart disease. If you have symptoms of swine flu virus, it's important to seek medical attention right away, especially if you are in a high-risk group or if your symptoms are severe. Early treatment with antiviral medications can help reduce the severity and duration of illness. Treatment of Swine Flu The treatment for swine flu typically involves antiviral medications, rest, and supportive care to manage symptoms. In addition to antiviral medications, supportive care such as rest, hydration, and over-the-counter medications to relieve fever, cough, and other symptoms can also help manage swine flu. In severe cases, hospitalization may be necessary to provide oxygen therapy, intravenous fluids, and other supportive measures. Prevention of Swine Flu Prevention is an important aspect of managing swine flu. Here are some preventive measures you can take to reduce the risk of swine flu. 1. Vaccination Getting vaccinated is the most effective way to prevent swine flu. 1. The seasonal flu vaccine typically includes protection against swine flu, so it's important to get vaccinated every year. 2. Practice good hygiene. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water, especially after coughing or sneezing, or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. 2. Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when coughing or sneezing. 3. Avoid close contact with sick people. If someone you know is sick with flu-like symptoms, try to avoid close contact with them and encourage them to stay home until they are no longer contagious. 4. Stay home if you're sick. If you develop flu-like symptoms, stay home from work, school, and other public places until you are no longer contagious. 5. Clean and disinfect surfaces. Use a disinfectant cleaner to wipe down surfaces that may be contaminated with the virus, such as doorknobs, light switches, and keyboards. Conclusion In conclusion, swine flu is a serious respiratory disease that can be prevented with proper precautions such as vaccination and good hygiene. If you experience any symptoms of swine flu, seek medical attention immediately. Stay safe and healthy, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos.